What's up guys, my name is Tom. Welcome back to my channel. Well, I actually got hired to clean the seats on this 2005 Liberty, which is actually the same year as mine. And as you can see, these seats were pretty soiled. So I thought it was a great opportunity to show you guys um, you know, a method of cleaning these seats that you could easily do yourself um, with some pretty inexpensive and simple products. So let's get to it. Here I'm using Super Clean, diluted 4 to 1. Um, I like to hit the heavier, dirty or greasy spots with this first and let it soak in a little bit. And then I have an all-purpose cleaner mixed 10 to 1, so I'm going to soak down the rest of the seat with that. Um, any all-purpose cleaner will do. I haven't really seen too much difference on the performance. I've used like three different ones. Um, I kind of keep coming back to Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, but um, it, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of pick your poison there. But um, with seats this soiled, I, I really like to soak them down to uh, extract as much dirt as possible out of there. Um, so again, this is another scrub brush I think I got from Walmart. Um, I, this is actually my favorite one. I, I've used this one for a while. The bristles are kind of more of a medium stiffness where they're not too stiff, but they're not super soft either. And it just, you know, kind of follows the contour of the seats and really lets you get in there. So, you know, right here, you're really just scrubbing in the cleaner, you know, getting the cleaner to help absorb the dirt and uh, scrub a dub dub. Here's another little brush. I think I got this one from Home Depot. But, uh, you know, again, get you in some of the spots that uh, you can't get into with the bigger brush. And, you know, again, I'm, it's kind of hard to see in the camera once it's wet, but I'm really just concentrating on the spots that have, you know, the most embedded dirt. The side of the bolster there definitely tends to get a lot of dirt built up, I've noticed. And, uh, you know, not just in this car, but in, in a lot of different cars. And then, just using a regular shop vac, you know, you're basically just going to extract that cleaner and uh, dirt basically that you stir it all together and just take your time and use the vacuum and just suck all that stuff right out of there. This is actually a newer shop vac that I got recently, I guess toward the end of the summer. Um, I picked it up from Home Depot, but it's a great vac for um, auto detailing. Definitely better than the one I was using before. It's just not as big and bulky, and I think it actually has better suction than the bigger vac that I had. So I'll put a link in the description below for you guys so you can check that out. But with these seats, they were, they were pretty soiled, so I actually did two and sometimes three passes on uh, a few of the back seats. So here's a little trick, um, sometimes there's parts of the seats that are a bit hard to, to scrub and you know get your shampoo going so I just spray some of the cleaner on a microfiber towel and then just again scrub a dub dub and rub that dirt off of there. So this is a very important step after you're done extracting as much liquid as you can out with the vacuum to take a clean microfiber towel and really scrub down the seat using moderate to heavy pressure. Um, my theory is you're sucking the dirt and water up with the vac and some of it gets left on the tips and the ends of all the fabric fibers. So now you're coming along with a clean absorbent towel you know, and wiping the rest of that dirty liquid off the seat. And it also makes the 
clean finish on the seat much more even. Um, so I will admit I did cheat a little bit on using um, just the basic tools. There was, I don't know if it was gum or something that was sticky that had dried onto the seats and I just knew it was going to be way easier to use the steam cleaner to take most of that off of there. So um, these back seats were much more soiled than the front seats. So I kind of went right to the super clean F4 to 1 and that's pretty much what I used on almost the whole entire back seat. Um, so again, just spray it down with the cleaner and scrub a dub and you can kind of see that instead of all white it's kind of brown because these seats were real dirty and, and the super clean was starting to uh, absorb or emulsifier, whatever the right word is for that. So another thing I like to do is I was still working on the middle seat here, but there was a couple pretty badly stained spots. So I'm just pre-treating it with the super clean. You know, I'm spraying it on there in advance, you know, rubbing it on there and then just letting it sit. So again, this is kind of the second round on that middle back seat. You know, that was a pretty badly stained spot, so I'm just going over it a second time, just giving it some extra scrubbing, some extra love. So I definitely like this little uh, toothbrush, scrub brush too, that thing works pretty good. The, the bristles are pretty stiff on it too, so you can really, really scrub pretty good with it. And again, on the back of the seat, there's another pretty badly stained spot, so, you know, just going over it again. Suck all that dirty juice out of there. And once again, you know, taking the clean towel at the end and scrubbing it down. You can kind of see that spot there that was left over from that sticky stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it just wasn't coming out. The customer is still very happy with the results. So here again is what they looked like before. Yeah, you, know, you can see those nasty stains and just discoloration. And after probably almost two hours of scrubbing these seats, you can see a major, major improvement. So I hope this helps you guys. If you have some dirty seats, you know, some fabric that you want to clean with some simple tools, that's definitely the way to do it. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching.